Welcome to the World Famous Studio Tour. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the World Famous Studio Tour. Woo! It's, gonna be it's Mr. Jimmy Fallon. And of course, here at Universal, we are a real working movie and television production facility. Our property here is property back in the 1970s, but this is where we leave the real world behind and continue on into the cinematic world. Had to be exact, even down to the tiniest detail. Bang, periods. We'll come into a bit of a clearing. On the far right is Brownstone Street, where the stairways go into the facade. Grace the dog! I'm in the shower! Arr! And that is where Jim Carrey lived in the 2003 hit Lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Gotta love New York City. Hey, I'm walking here. Forever. And at Universal, I don't want to like to work with top-notch sets like people. <laughs> Several theater marquees that each represents a different era. That is so. Our Maybe it's not all that bad. Hi there. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. Yes, they had a good time at the good place. Also, note about Little Europe, it is where a lot of our famous. Mine hit the ground first. Ian Morrison never legally had it changed. Apparently, got used to people calling him John or the Duke. In fact, he played 37 characters named John, seven named Duke. Uh, believe it or not, none named Hollywood, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Oscar winner Brad Pitt. Okay, speaking of cowboys, let's see if you guys recognize these two cowboys. I mean, two, not one. Two cowboys. Border from old Mexico to the old West. Welcome to Six Points. Right here. So called about a boy, start mini driver. We'll now make our way onto Colonial Street. It's a nice little residential setup on the back lot. If there is one thing everyone in suburbia can appreciate, it's a good name. And a few other productions that have shot up here throughout the years. or something, I really can't tell. Oh wow, yeah, line broke, all right, a gas line, and now there's a line. Okay, look, probably best if we, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, look out! usually here. We are in the process of prepping for our upcoming Halloween Horror Night events. Those are starting on September 7th, running on Select Night. The knife. Right behind his house is one of the most spectacular sets ever created. <laughs> Specifically for the scene. This movie used over 5 
Steven Spielberg's version of War of the Worlds. It at theaters back in 2005, starring Tom Cruise, Dakota Fanning, Tim Robbins, and Justin Chatwin. And in case you are wondering, yes, this is an actual aircraft. The 747 was destroyed specifically for this incredible scene. Small time Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Duke. Over there, look into the winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Share. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? It's not looking so alive. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy. You see cars from Back to the Future films and my favorite, the Flintstones. Those are basically tricked out golf carts. You see one of the Ford Anglias from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secret from Warner Brothers. You see the 1941 Woolies Cube from the Fast and Furious franchise. You see a pick. Was suspended by a on top of one of our structures that was dressed to look like a massive wall. Our green 